Right now, dozens of local firefighters are in Pensacola as a part of the state's hurricane response. Action News Jax is there as 47 members of JFRD's urban search and rescue team deployed. Leaders say the canines, rescue boats, and ATVs will assist the crews with swift water rescues. Four additional rescue units were also sent to Gulf County at the request of state officials. Uh, it's never comfortable leaving your family and friends behind because you have to worry about them. Everybody has obviously family here, um, but it also helps us to know that we're going to help other people. The team's deployment will last 10 days based on the damage caused by the storm. Columbia County has opened up three shelters for anyone seeking refuge from the effects of Michael. Action News Jack's Kevin Clark shows us how those shelters are preparing. We're at the Westside Community Center. That is one of three shelters that the county has opened up for people to come to if they need. You can see cots here as well as bottled water over here. It's one of several ways that volunteers are accommodating people, and this facility can accommodate close to 300 people. You can see volunteers here ready to help people and just the, the lay of the land here, if you will. But this one, again, can accommodate close to 300 people and maybe the most populous one because it can accommodate those with special needs. Now, as of about 8 o'clock this evening, Evening. All three shelters didn't have anyone just yet, but volunteers say that maybe because they want to stay in their own beds before this area receives any inclement weather tomorrow. Now, a couple of things to remember there are showers here as well as ready to eat meals, as well as that bottled water we showed you, and the cots, a place to sleep, but no animals are allowed at any of these shelters. Now, one of the other shelters is the Winfield Community Center. I spoke with a board member there who tells me that shelter may see people from out of town because of its proximity. To I-10. We're looking for, let's say, an average about 40 to 50 people because of the uh, area that we're in with quick access from uh, Interstate 41 plus Interstate 10. So, evacuating from Tallahassee, it should be, you know, quite easy. All new at the bottom of the hour on Fox 30, I'll show you how utility crews are in Columbia County to assist in the case of any power outages from this storm. Kevin Clark, Fox 30, Action News Jacks.